Once you start talking about the economics, then we talk about incentives. Yeah. And the, the resource allocation gains from learning don't necessarily line up with the individual gains from learning. But right. those can be quite different, yeah. actually. That, you know, you know, if there's something about the world that we can't do anything about, maybe the, the actual value of learning in that world isn't worth much. Yeah. And we shouldn't invest a lot. But if people can privately benefit from learning what's going to happen, they'll do it. Yeah. How does that factor into your, into the kind of models that you build? and you know things that are yeah. so it's not just about the ability to learn but the incentive to learn in my own models is it, it it hasn't shown up enough i think it's a tremendously important question there are literatures out there related literatures about um trying to connect things to um looking at people's incentives to uh looking at you know there's a whole body of information out there i have these so-called limited attention models uh, like you know, my former advisor, Chris Sims, has been doing some of these, uh, and plus a bunch of other people. There's a bunch of information out there. There's limited attention. I, I have to decide where to pay attention, and, and because I don't have, because I don't, have, because I don't want to look at every little, little detail. So, out of, out of a big set of data, where do I concentrate my efforts? Uh, because where are the places that really matter to me? And those type of models have can can potentially start to address the questions you're raising, and I think they're very interesting ones. The models I've been looking at aren't rich enough to get us there, but of course I think it's, it, it, it'd be great to integrate those type of um, that those type of questions into them. So it's, it's 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 the real challenge of this is you know as you know one can really define some really exciting problems, but you got to make them exciting and tractable at the same time. <laughs> and, and and putting you know, you know adding the tractability part of this where the you know the real cleverness of model building comes into play. And so it's, it's uh, trying to trying to figure out how to do that in the most revealing ways that are tractable is, is kind of the fun part of research, I guess. Yeah, because those are two of the big themes of economics. It's yeah. kind of the equilibrium side of things and yeah. then the kind of incentive side right. of, of, right. of economics. Right.